This is the first part of a two-part video series. Hello Aerial Yogis, welcome to the Velam Yoga channel. This yoga tutorial is our Yin Aerial series. So this is starting from the beginning, warming up the body. For Yin Aerial, you're going to want the silk hung knee height or just below. Also make sure that you have a nice mat underneath of you, uh, both for traction and for comfort. For cocooned contemplation with the silk so low, we might simply step through the silk. Be mindful not to catch the toe, avoiding any hazard of tripping. Then spread the silk and take a seat. You can customize the position of the spine. Perhaps you want a very upright spine, or if you'd like a little more opening, you might simply scoot the hips forward to round the spine. Once the spine is in position, spread the silk down both legs into a wide straddle pose. Then bend the knees into a butterfly position, bringing the soles of the feet together. up back into a straddle position turn towards the right leg bend the knee to bring that heel towards the pelvis the left leg also bends bringing that heel towards the backbone you might stay right inside your cocoon or you might open up the windows in front of you bringing the shoulders through and allowing the upper body to simply melt down towards the mat Other side, rise back up into your straddle position. Turn towards the left leg, bending that knee so the heel comes towards the pelvis and the right heel towards the backbone. Again, you might stay inside your cocoon or you might open up the windows in front, allowing the upper body to melt down. back up and spread the legs back into a straddle pose. We'll move into a cocooned butterfly. Pedal the legs free of the silk, reach for the front walls and push it away so we can bring both feet inside the front wall.
nothing to hold on to, allow the legs to be heavy, the hips and the spine to open. Legs up the wall pose. In yin, this is known as caterpillar. Pivot the body into Shavasana, bringing the feet towards the closest wall and our heads towards the center of the room. Lying flat on our back in corpse pose, Supported banana pose. Roll on to your right side. Stretch the silk long. You might cross the ankles to help keep the legs straight. From banana pose, come into fetal pose, bending the knees, curling the body into a gentle ball. Stretch back long and come into Superman pose or belly down Shavasana. Rolling onto the belly, this offers us a supported back bend. You might keep the arms stretched out forward just like Superman. Or if you'd like a little less intensity, you might bend the elbows within the silk, allow the forehead to come down to the forearms.
you'd like less intensity still, bring the arms and shoulders out of the silk, allowing the arms and the head to simply melt down towards the mat. Banana pose on the left side. Stretching the silk long to cocoon the entire body. Roll onto your left side. To your fetal pose. back into Shavasana Corpse Pose, rolling onto your back. the legs, bringing the feet down to the mat. Reach up high for both edges of the walls to gently rise to a seated position. And then simply walk backwards into an easy standing position. For part two, we'll use the doubled silk. So bring both edges of the silk together and wave it out, just like folding a bed sheet at home. Come to the front edge and turn your back to the silk. Into the silk a little bit forward of the plumb line, making sure we don't sit through the silk. Forward dangling. You might simply allow the body to soften forward, or you might draw the arms back behind you. Asana. Come back up to a seated position, moving the bottom towards the front part of the silk. Then reach back for both edges of the silk, recline back. For this one, we want the bottom to simply melt out of the silk, using your hands to gently bring the silk up to the lower back. Heel toe the feet apart, allowing the hips to open, the knees to fall open and you might bring the arms overhead to dangle. Allow the hips to soften down towards the mat.
Heel toe the feet back together to touch. Lift the hips up and use your hands to draw the hips back into the silk into a seated position. From here, we'll reposition the hips back towards the center of the silk. Continue your yin experience with the second part of this two-part video series.